You're watching 11 Alive Morning News. 11 minutes of nonstop news starts now. It is Friday morning at 648. Your 11 minutes of nonstop news starts now. Ready, set, travel. The airport will share its plan as millions travel over the next 11 days. What you need to know. Plus an important deadline to get money back from stolen SNAP benefits. But we start your 11 minutes of nonstop news with breaking news in DeKalb County. Police investigating a shooting there. The victim's family tells 11 Alive a father was killed overnight. Ariana Manise is live there for us. Ariana, you heard from the family. Cheryl, we spoke to his mother. She tells us that her son had just welcomed into the world his second son a week ago. She says she's heartbroken. She's lost for words, knowing that he's gone now. Now we have reached out to police to get information on any possible suspects. We're still working to hear back, but this was a scene overnight. This happened at a home on Huntwood Drive in Decatur, not far from Flat Shows Parkway, and we're still working to get confirmation from police on exactly what happened. But we are learning from his mother that he was only 34 four years old. He was headed to the mother of his children's home. She says that police say were alerted to the scene because of an apparent car crash, but she said that her son was robbed. His body was found on the side of his home in his wallet and car. They were both gone. She had this message to say for whoever is responsible for shooting and killing her son. Take a listen. You took a jewel from my family. You took a jewel from me. That was my child. You had no right to take him for jealousy, for envy. It's, it's just uncalled for. Why take from somebody? Get a job. Turn yourself in because it's just not right. The violence has to stop somewhere. It's got to stop. I shouldn't have to bury my child. Once again, we're still working to get more information from police about this shooting and killing. When we get that information, we'll be sure to bring you the latest. Back to you. Ariana, thank you. A deadline is coming quickly for anyone who was a victim of SNAP fraud in the last year. The Georgia Department of Human Services says SNAP recipients who believe their funds were stolen due to card skimming can apply to get money back. If your benefits were stolen between last October and October 18th of this year, you have until tomorrow to put in your request. DFAC says if this has happened to you, you will need a new EBT card and PIN. You need to request a replacement form for it. We have details on that process for you at 11alive.com. This is Jerry Carnes live at Hartsfield Jackson International Airport, where we're just days away from a mad scramble for parking spots like this. This park and ride lot is empty now. It is a first come first served here. If you want to reserve a spot at one of the other lots around Hartsfield Jackson, you better hurry. There are four parking areas here at Hartsfield Jackson run by the airport that take reservations. Many of those spots have already been claimed for the days just before and just after Thanksgiving. Offsite site lots offer reservations, but travelers started booking spots for Thanksgiving travel there weeks ago. Keep in mind the airport has closed the South Economy lot to construct a parking deck that won't open for years. That's a loss of over 3,000 parking places here. Veteran uh, travelers say plan ahead. You can always use MARTA or rideshare to get to the airport. Well, we're looking at temperatures starting off in the 50s, as you can see, close to the 60 degree mark. In fact, we're already there in Gainesville. You're right at 60. That's the warm spot this morning. Close in Athens, you're at 59 degrees. Duluth at 58, 58 also in Atlanta, 57 degrees in Covington. 40s up here to the north. So go ahead and grab your jacket if you're up there. Your winter wear forecast calls for long sleeves, at least for this afternoon. 71 degrees, our forecast high temperature got up to 70 yesterday. I think we'll do it again today, despite the fact that we'll have mostly cloudy skies on the outside. The drought areas are continuing to stretch throughout Georgia. The exceptional drought remains up here to the far northwest, but that uh, is extreme drought now extends over into northern parts of Raven County. You got Union Towns County in that, and also northern parts of Floyd County, which includes the Georgia Rome area. Still under a moderate drought here in the metro, but if we don't get any rain, that's going to continue to increase, folks. We should be around 44 inches this time of year. We've only had about 36 inches, and so 
that puts us down close to eight inches below where we should be for this time of year. Uh, isolated sprinkle or two is all we'll muster up for this afternoon. Thanks to a front that's going to be making its way through the area. Most of us, if not all of us, will stay on the dry side, so we're not going to get much rain out of this. It won't be until next week that we'll get uh, a system that will come through, and it looks like it will bring us a decent amount of rain. Uh, not enough to bust the drought, of course, but we need more systems like that coming through the area today. For the most part, we're going to be on the dry side. We will see a mix of sunny clouds as we head through the afternoon. They're only going to give it a 30% chance uh, this afternoon and tonight for that rain. That front moves through and will clear us out over the weekend. We'll have the sunshine back in, and then early next week, Monday, in fact, we'll see the clouds increasing, and then the chance of rain will return to our forecast area. In fact, 70 outlook shows it's getting into the upper 60s by Saturday and Sunday. We may start off in the morning with a few clouds. Much of the afternoon will be mostly sunny. Same with Sunday. Then by Monday, starting off with a little sun, clouds increase. They got a 30% chance for a uh, scattered shower or two in the evening going into Tuesday. That'll be the wettest, looking at a 60% chance with the rain. Then behind this system, headed toward Thanksgiving, temperatures will really cool down on Thanksgiving morning. 36 degrees start, 53 for the high. All right, Chesley, 653 the current time, and we are still dealing with two major red alerts. This is your downtown drive. This is along 85, and believe me, this wreck is in a terrible spot because it's right on the connector northbound right at 166. So look at those impacts on 75 and 85. No real escape route coming up from the airport unless, of course, you hit those alternates. That's going to be Highway 29 or Metropolitan Parkway. You might even want to consider taking the west side perimeter, 285 northbound to 166. Speaking of the west side. This has just been a bear of a ride outbound with multiple lanes still blocked. I-20 westbound before Lee Road. Look at that pushing you back well beyond Thornton Road. You don't normally see that for the morning inbound traffic slowing to take a peek. So if you're rolling between Douglasville or Lithia Springs in either way, get to Highway 78 Veterans Memorial Highway. Cheryl, it is 654. Every day that passes, a mother is more desperate for answers. Her daughter has been missing now for nearly a month. Gwinnett County Police are investigating the disappearance of Amanda Kelly Hines. Her mom says she was last heard from October 19th, last seen at a home she shared with her boyfriend on Bustle Place in Norcross. We talked with Amanda's mom who says she's fearing the worst. I know that something bad happened. I don't know what, and I've been appealing to the universe to help me. But as a mother, I don't wish this pain on anyone. I hope she gets the help and answers she needs. Gwinnett County Police asking anybody who knows where Amanda is to please call 911. Brittany was passionate about her family. She was excited about traveling the world. Brittany Glover was hit and killed just two days after she moved to Metro Atlanta. More than a year later, there's now a push for information about the hit and run. This morning, Atlanta City Council members will announce a higher reward for information leading to an arrest. Last September 19th, a driver hit and killed the 33-year-old on Donald Lee Hollowell Parkway and left. More companies will now be allowed to produce medical marijuana in Georgia, bringing the total number to six. A Georgia State Commission has now voted to approve the licenses. Nearly 70 companies originally applied for licenses to grow medical marijuana when it became legal in Georgia, but lawmakers only allowed a small number. Some business owners claimed the licensing process was unfair. They took their fight to court, which is why there's been such a long delay. The commission says a recent court decision now allows them to move forward. Atlanta is making a real name for itself in the TV and film industry, a growing number of major Hollywood productions. But we also want to highlight the great work of our local creatives. This morning, we caught up with director and producer Des Gray to talk about her latest short film, Mixed Girl. In the movie Mixed Girl, I showcase um, this young girl. She was living with her Caucasian mother, and she had a white brother and she have a black father, but she never met her father. So all this time, she never thought that she was a mixed girl because the mother never told her the truth about being mixed with black. Mixed Girl premieres tonight on Revolt TV and on all streaming platforms December 15th. Happening today, an extra special spotlight on athletes at HBCUs from across the country. The teams are in the A for the 2023 ATL has something to say HBCU All-Star Basketball Challenge. It kicks off at Morehouse College at the Forbes Arena. There will be four games starting at 2 this afternoon and more games tomorrow.
Lots of basketball, Chesley. We love it. I uh, love it. Love it. Love it. All right. You're looking at uh, temperatures getting up to 65 degrees by noon. Mostly cloudy skies will be the call. Our winds will be on the light side for today. By 3 o'clock, we'll reach our high today. I'm thinking closer to the 70 degree mark is what we'll see. Again, under mostly cloudy skies. Still warm, uh, even though even though we'll have those clouds out there. By the time you're traveling home, temperatures right around that 65 degree mark, you know, mostly cloudy skies. We'll clear it out for the weekend. Get the sunshine back in here just for you. Enjoy. All right, going to leave you with a couple of red alerts. Connect to northbound at 166 Langford Parkway. You're looking at that right there. Major delays. Use Metropolitan or Highway 29. 20 westbound wreck at Lee Road out west. Use Highway 78. We'll get you an update at 726. All right, everybody. Hope you have a great weekend. Hope you have a great yeah, weekend. There's too. lots going on. You can find it all on 11alive.com. Happy Founders Day. Thank yeah. you. Shout out to the Bruce. <laughs> <laughs>